I'm Jenny. Ryan is 18. He has a great sense of humour. He's always gone to a school and a college for young people with severe learning difficulties. And he kind of does have severe learning difficulties. As far as I know that he can't read or write or count properly, but he does kind of know what he's meant to do. And he is known as an entertainer. He likes the people around him to be happy, which is, to me, that's more valuable than being able to read. I think if, if more people had that skill, the world would be a better place. He can be very, very challenging. He actually can be quite violent, mainly towards me. But mostly, he's just a happy, friendly person. Um, I don't know what my life would have been without Ryan, so I don't know. What, what would I have been doing if Ryan hadn't had special needs? I think that having Ryan has given me opportunities to do things that I would never have otherwise done. It doesn't mean that I don't get fed up and angry and disappointed and resentful and all the things that anyone would. Because sometimes it feels like I can't do anything I want to do because Ryan has got total control of my life. One of the, the starting thing with the electric umbrella is it, it, it looked like it was going to be a bridge from the children, the involvement with the children to the involvement with the adults. And because it's something, because choir is something you can do with your young person, that was really nice. Which might sound a bit odd because my life is a joint activity with Ryan, but this has become a bit like a family because there are so many other parents of young people and older people with special needs so it, it kind of shows me what is ahead and there are people you can go to for advice. Uh, for me it's an amazing outlet for creativity and I've always been a bit like that, very colourful and arty, crafty sort of person <laughs> and this has given me a way to use it to everyone's advantage so perfect for me.